Okay, we're going to talk about soil glue, which is in section five of your educator's guide. And the goal, the, the goal is to, to show students or demonstrate that less disturbed soils contain more soil glue and hold together better or have better aggregate stability. Demonstrate why it's important to protect soils from disturbance, from disturbance such as tillage, and then provide examples where soils uh, uh, must be disturbed with further investigation actions that can be taken to protect them. So to demonstrate this and demonstrate uh, to your students that <clears throat> you could have them bring soils uh, from their own farms uh, and it's important that you go ahead and let the soil uh, air dry. So you don't want to run this test when you have uh, moisture already. So what we want to do is get some different management systems uh, to run the experiment. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show three different soils that have been uh, that managed differently. And so we use the little cups that were provided in your soil bucket. And there's little screens. And we fill each of these three cups up to where it just comes above where the clod will sit. Okay. So from here, what we want to do is, is have our different <coughs> soil management systems. In this case, I gathered these soils from northeast Nebraska. Uh, and, and this is a cropped and silt loam. And this has uh, been tilled. Okay. So with this test, we're going to be putting it in here. And we're <coughs> going to be filling all the pore spaces in these clods with water. And eventually, under internal pressure, uh, we're going to see if they will break apart or hold together. Okay. So hence the term aggregate stability. So I want to go ahead and get each of these so we can fill up all the pore spaces. Now what you can, I want to show, and I'll pick this up so you can see a little better. <clears throat> this is the tilled Croft and Selt loam. And you notice how it's breaking in the small particles, falling apart uh, under the internal pressure. And if I touch it, it really breaks apart quickly. All that sediment stays in suspension. Okay. Here is a little better soil. That's a Judson soil. That's been managed again under no-till. You notice when I touch it, etc., it doesn't uh, break apart. So it's got two things going for it. One, it's got high organic matter. One, it's been no-tilled, so it's not going to break apart very easily. And the importance of this for water quality is, is it's going to provide better infiltration. It's going to provide better, uh, hold the nutrients, hold your nitrogen, hold your other nutrients better for, for your crop production. And then here is that same same croft in soil that we showed you first, except this has been under no-till for about 15 years. And you notice that it does break apart some, but when it breaks apart, I touch it there, you can see that the soil that does go through the water column there is was more aggregated and holds together. So the importance of that is, is again, for our our soil structure to stay stay intact so that we can have a good active uh, soil micro microbiology system going there uh, and that we have good available water capacity, good available uh, uh, nutrients are, are held and exchanged well with with your crop.